Hey, how's it going? Mike here, The Fresh Rents. It is Thursday, uh, late June, and I'm looking forward to that little July slump. And we're going to talk about that here in just a few moments. I want to give you just a few words of encouragement here as I am en route to opportunity four of four on the day. It's 147. I'll get there in just a few minutes. But in that time, I want to share uh, a few things with you that I believe will be an encouragement to you. Most of you who are friends with me on Facebook know that at the end of every opportunity, almost every opportunity, I will take a picture of the home in the background with my sign in the foreground, and I will post that to Facebook, but then I'll also post it to my Google page. I post it to my personal page, and I realize that some of you, that it's kind of a conflict of interest because you want to keep business business and and uh, personal personal and I I can understand that I choose to post to my personal page and sometimes my business page but almost always my personal page because I want to be known in the community as the guy to go to for pressure washing there's no one on my friends list who is unfamiliar with the idea and the fact that I am the guy to go to so in time every one of them who are local to me and within my wash wingspan so to speak are going to call me they're not going to go somewhere else but then also I make friends with many of the people who are my customers they hire me to wash their home we have somewhat of a rapport and so I will find them on Facebook and I will request their friendship they don't have to answer me with a yes but if they do then that keeps my work in front of them regularly now here's the beauty of that and here's a good case in point Earlier this morning, I washed a home. There's three stories in the back. I posted a couple of pictures of that. And, um, and then, of course, I posted it to my Facebook page. One of my previous customers from a few years back responded, and she just said, awesome. Within just a few minutes, she messaged me privately on Messenger and said, hey, just a heads up, we are needing our home washed again. And this time we need the vinyl fence and all of the concrete. I responded and told her I'd give her a price this evening. So it's good for her to see that. Now, in time, she would have called regardless, but because she saw my picture, it was fresh on her mind, and in the moment, she reached out to me, very convenient. I really believe that many of us fail in our businesses because we do not take advantage of all the social media platforms and all the technology that's available to us. If we were operating in the 70s, in the 80s and even the early 90s, well, maybe all the 90s, we would have been relegated really to the yellow pages. And that's no fun. So here we have a free platform by which to communicate to all of our friends that we are in business and this is what we do. And we get to show our before and after pictures and all of that. It's a constant reminder. So let that be a word of encouragement to you. Do not shy away from social media platforms. Then secondly, someone uh, who's within our viewership, our subscribers here on YouTube, messaged me this morning a little nervous and said that they're beginning to see a slump. They had heard that there was this thing called the July slump, and I responded and said, it's true, nothing to get nervous about. Families tend to wrap up all of their vacationing in late Ju June and July, and because of that, their mind is on different things other than washing. So we see that slump, and personally, I look forward to it because there's two or three weeks where I will just book maybe two or three jobs a day, sometimes even one, and then leave that afternoon open to commercial work if something comes in or if a realtor calls and said, I need something real quickly, I don't have to pass that on like I might normally do if I'm booked. And so it's kind of like when you were in school and you had your spring break, those two weeks or so, you really looked forward to it. And so I look forward to that. And then when people get back from their vacations, they begin to panic and they say, I've waited all summer long, it's time to call Mike. And so then just around the time that school starts back up, uh, late July, August, you know, when all those vacations are ending, then the phones begin to ring again and um, and work will pick back up. I will wash up until Thanksgiving and maybe even December, but work will be steady for me um, August, September, October, and then November, and it starts to slow down. 
So uh, just let that be a word of encouragement to you. Don't get discouraged if uh, you begin to see the phone calls really s slowing down or even stopping for the first few weeks in July. All right. Hey, I hope that's encouragement to you. I really appreciate you following and subscribing to the channel, watching the videos. I'm super grateful. And if you haven't already subscribed, be sure and do that. Hit that bell tab. You'll never miss another video. Leave a comment. I'm grateful. My name is Mike. They call me the Fresh Rents, and I'm out.